Well, did we set a record? Do we know yet? We do not yet. Last number we had was 74. 76 is the record. Yeah, all right, probably uh, a little we'll short. Yeah. We definitely didn't set records for snow over <laughs> the winter. That's good. We had lack of snow, if anything. We are into March, and that means it is meteorological spring, which means we have numbers from meteorological winter. So December, January, and February. We came in, no surprise, lacking in snowfall, and that could be a very much an understatement. We came in over 30 inches below average at Cleveland Hopkins over the course of those three months. We really only had four days throughout those three months that we had an inch or more of snowfall. So not a lot of snowfall so far this winter and not a lot to look forward to with that extended forecast. We're going to fast forward to the weekend. Uh, things looking a little different as we head towards the coming weekend. A lot of rain for us on Saturday. Sunday is going to bring another shot of some colder temperatures and possibly some snowflakes at least mixing in. Doesn't look like enough to really put a dent in our snow deficit at this point. In the meantime, between now and then, we still have a beautiful day out there to enjoy. Things looking absolutely wonderful. 72 still right now for Cleveland. We've got a good breeze coming in from the south and some lingering sunshine as we head towards sunset. Beautiful evening to get out and enjoy these wonderful conditions while they are still around because things are going to be changing as we go through the rest of this week. We've got a cold front just off to our west, so we are on the warm side of that right now but a noticeable temperature difference on the other side of this cold front. So that's going to be heading our way and cooling us off as we get into the rest of the week. We've also got some rain snow showers along that front up into areas of the UP of Michigan, back through Wisconsin, down through Iowa. So we're also going to see the potential for some precipitation returning as we get into tomorrow, mainly in the form of rain. A National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. We're going to look pretty quiet and calm as we go through the overnight hours. Temperature is going to be very mild. Our average highs are lower for we're going to start the day tomorrow in the low 50s. Chance we see a brief sprinkle first thing in the morning. Otherwise, we're going to look towards the afternoon hours for better chances to see some showers returning. Uh, temperatures are still going to be very warm tomorrow, not quite as warm as today. I think we'll still make it well into the 60s, close to 70 for many areas ahead of that cold front. Into the afternoon, we'll see a better chance for some showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder popping up within that rain potential. And those showers will stick around as we go through the evening hours initially. On the back end of that cold front, temperatures are going to cool off pretty quickly as we head into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Behind the cold front into Wednesday, we're going to notice a big change. Our winds are going to shift around and come in from the north, so that's going to be a colder wind for us, a colder day overall, and we could certainly see some lingering rain early Wednesday before we do look to dry out a little bit. Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook temperatures just in the 40s for us on Wednesday and then we climb back into the 50s for the rest of the week. Another round of rain is going to return late Friday and into Saturday. Saturday is potentially a pretty soggy day for us. And then Sunday is going to be our next chance to possibly see a few of those flakes flying. All right. Thank you very much. We appreciate it.